Hello everyone, welcome to day one of our grow. Today we are starting seeds. So the premise of this video series to show you how I would grow hydroponically, Kratky style, if I were limited to one grow rack, three shelves, three lights, and output five heads of lettuce a week, plus a little bit extra. Let's walk through everything that we'll need. So we'll need two grow buckets. We're gonna have one that will start five lettuce starters. And then since we have room for a little bit more than just five a week, we're gonna grow something different, which I've never grown before. I'm kind of excited about it. This is mammoth basil. So I grow Italian large leaf basil, which I like, uh, but I'm kind of excited about this, so we'll see how this goes. So hopefully it works. And for the lettuce, we're gonna go with Paris Island Romaine. All these are from our good friends at MI Gardener. These sell for 99 cents on his website, a thousand seeds, so a tenth of a cent a seed. Really good value. I'm a big fan of MR Gardener stuff. These seeds are actually from 2018 and they're still viable. I'm getting probably near 90%-ish germination rate. So it's very good. I'm excited about it. So to do all this, what we'll do is we'll take our buckets with our water We'll pH balance it, something close to a, I keep it around a pH of a six. I have wonky water. I'm off of a well, water out of my tap comes out at around 7.9. Uh, I also have an RO filter that comes out just above a seven. Um, so it takes quite a bit of acid. So this is pH down. And I just like these containers better than having these around. Um, these are sold in eight ounce bottles. This is a quart. But with the eight ounce bottles, they come with these cool little one milliliter pipettes, which are handy for measuring out your acid or your base. So right there at the top of the line, there's a one milliliter mark and it's marked off in 250 uh, microliter increments. So depending on your water, you'll either probably need some pH up, some base, or some pH down. We'll also need our rock wool. These are one and a half inch cubes. We'll be chopping these up into uh, four pieces, dividing them up into four pieces because I use CZ Garden one inch net cuffs. So this saves me around nine cents per head of lettuce. So um, my local hydro shop sells 92 cubes of these to me, and I think they cost uh, 10 bucks, 10 bucks plus tax. So the cost, if I were using individual cubes, would be around 12 cents, since I'm using only a quarter of that, it's about three cents, actually a little bit less per per unit. And since we will be playing with bases and acids, I want to see full safeties. Please wear some goggles. You don't want to splash base or acid into your eyes. And feel free to wear gloves. Also, um, have a little uh, wire whisk. So when we put in an acid, before we measure the pH, we can stir up the water to make sure that we have it fully incorporated into the water. And that way, when we measure our pH, we'll get a good reading. So let's get started. We'll move on first to cutting up our rock wool cubes. We'll get them soaked up in some water. So as I said, we're going to 
take our rock gold cubes and we're going to cut them into quarters. So I have a little pocket knife that my dad gave me when I was about 12 years old after a trip to Germany. So it works nice, nice thin sharp-ish blade. <laughs> so if you were using two inch mint cups, that is what you would use. It already has a hole there, but since we're using the CZs, the one inch, we cut them into quarters. And I'm a big fan of saving money, uh, not pinching pennies uh, at the expense of quality, but doing sensible things to save money. So I cut up the rock wool cubes. And what I do is I usually cut up, I don't know, a dozen or so cubes at a time. And I load them up into my Maxwell House container. People at work drink Maxwell House, so I get free storage containers, which is fantastic. So for our grow today, we'll just need five. Actually, sorry, six. Six rock roll cubes. Ah, ah, ah. The next thing I do is I get a little container with some water and I pH balance the water and soak the rock gold cubes. I had a comment in a different video saying that it is not necessary to pH balance your water when soaking rock gold, or actually I don't even think you need to technically soak the rock gold cubes. But as I said, my pH is hyper wonky. Um, it's high and it goes up by itself, which maybe I'll be able to demonstrate to you in a later video. So. We have our water straight from the tap, so it's probably at a pH of 7.9. So we'll take a little bit of our pH down, and I'm not even going to measure the pH. I'm just going to take a few drops and put it in there just to lower the pH a little bit. Anything I can do to keep the pH under, under control, I'll do that. So throw in these six and we'll let that sit in there for about a minute or two. So I drained off the water and I went ahead and measured the pH. It was around a 6.6, .6, less than neutral, so that's cool. So we have these ready and now we're ready to start loading up our bucket but actually first um, let's go ahead and I'll show you what my pH looks like so when you are doing this for the first time I would suggest fill up your buckets measure your pH and then adjust in small increments and make a recording of what you use so I like to see for this, since it's not hypercritical, this is just it. The starters will be in here for about two weeks. I like to see a pH close to six. Uh, once it gets up to neutral, then they kind of get stagnant. So right now we're at about a 4.5. So we're going to take a little bit of a pH down. I actually require quite a bit and when I do my grow, I just kind of take a big load. Uh, don't follow this for your own water. Everyone's water is different. So measure the pH, adjust, give a little stir, check the pH again. Normally I wouldn't even go through this step because I just want to knock on the pH to a somewhat reasonable level. Let's see if we can get you to see the. Uh... So we're about a 6 2. Um, for what we're doing, I think that'll just be good enough. One thing I forgot to mention was the water that I'm using is actually a mix between my tap water and my RO water, my reverse osmosis water. And when I was measuring the pH, I think I said 4.5. It was 7.5 before I added any acid. So, sorry for the confusion. So we have our 
water, uh, it's pH balanced a little bit. So we're going to start putting in our lettuce seeds. So let me show you this one really quick. So these one gallon buckets, the one gallon line is actually right below this top lip. We're going to fill, or I fill my buckets up to just below this lip right here. And if you look on the inside, it's really hard to see uh, since it's black. Um, I put a couple of Sharpie marks there. So this is about the one gallon mark, this top mark right here. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, right below it is the level that we fill up the buckets to. So there's about a, oh, I guess about a 12 ounce uh, difference. But when I fill up the buckets, I like to see the net cups be filled up somewhere between about a third to a half way up. So if we put our net cup in there, if it's just sitting on there, it should be covering up the, the bottom portion of the net cup. And now that we have the water to the right level, we have our water pH balanced a little bit. We have our rock wool cube soaked. So start loading them up. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell which way is up after you cut them. Eh. So, when you use the one and a half inch Rockwell cubes in their full form, they have a hole in the middle, but we don't have a hole now. So I take my little bamboo skewer that I get, I don't know, was it 50 or 100 for a dollar or something. Um, just make a little hole there, just enough to put a couple of seeds in. And you don't have to be really careful if you want to, you can, whatever. We just need a place to put the seed. It doesn't have to be pretty. As I mentioned, we're going to use our Paris Island Romaine from our good, dear, personal friends at MI Gardener. Actually, I never met Luke before. I just like saying that. So, uh, get yourself a plate. I'm using a white bucket lid. And get yourself out about 10 or so seeds we're, we're going to put into maybe three seeds per uh, Rockwell cube. So once I take seeds out of the envelope, I never put them back and I'll tell you why. Because when I go to put the seeds in, I moisten the tip of this bamboo stick and I start picking them up. So I'd be getting those seeds wet and I put a wet seed back in with my dry seeds, I could um, harm my, my viable seeds. So whatever I don't use, compost, toss it, throw it out to the birds, whatever. So, so got your bamboo stick, your seeds, and if it's moistened, if it will behave for the video, Got two rock, uh, excuse me, two seeds there, and just kind of put them in. I'm doing two. If you want to do three, that's fine. In about a week, we will be thinning these down. So if you put three, four, five in, that just gives you more uh, full sprouts to thin out. So, But if you don't know if you have good seed or not, it might not be a bad idea, at least that's uh, for the start. 
to put in a few in there to make sure that you get at least one to sprout. One thing that I like to do, and since I'm showing you how I would do my grow, I take green painter's tape and I make notes of what I planted and when I started. So we'll go ahead and put that to the front of the bucket. Now we're gonna put this under our grow light. Before we do that, I wanna put a humidity dome on it and I wanna show you some of the humidity domes that I use. Uh, you can be creative with this. This is a, it says Betty Crocker. It's a storage container I bought at the Dollar General. So that fits great. So what you can do is if you are looking for a humidity dome and you can't find something in your house already, take a bucket lid, go to your local dollar whatever store, just see what they have on the shelf. So uh, this is a lettuce um, clam shell that I had from something I purchased. And this is a Chinese takeout container. And this is the lid from a Wendy's salad that I had. So I'm a bigger fan of the Chinese takeout container, so we'll use that. So we're good on lettuce, that's cool. We have our five started, so six weeks today we should be harvesting. I'm pretty excited, I hope you are as well. And as I said, we have the ability to grow five heads of lettuce a week, plus a little bit extra. And as you continue to watch the video series, you'll see how that all works. But for now, we're going to start our mammoth basil. So excited. I hope it works out. So I've already pH balanced the water. Same procedure. And once you do this once or twice, the process, the process goes much, much faster. So let's get this opened up. Nice fresh 2020 seeds. And I am not familiar with the germination rates how long it takes to germinate. So I'm actually going to load up four. Four mammoth basil seeds. We'll go with Wendy's. We'll get that uh, labeled up and we'll put it on the shelf. We have the buckets underneath our light. The height from the bottom of the light to the top of the bucket is about 10 inches. I have the buckets pretty much centered on the rack. As the weeks go on, it'll be more important on how we arrange the buckets. The reason I do my growing this way by putting multiple starters into one bucket is that it cuts down on my energy cost. My energy cost is by far the greatest cost for me to grow lettuce. So when this rack is fully loaded, we'll have 13 buckets, which the math is right, 21 uh, items growing at one time under one 48 watt nominal grow light, which is fantastic. And they stay down here on this grow rack for four weeks. I hope you learned something today or uh, maybe picked up a little uh, bits of information that you might find useful for your own grow. I would encourage you to watch all the videos in the series. And if you're not growing yet, I would certainly encourage you to do that and not spend any money until you Get a good plan together, determine your own growing goals, and 
that given with your own resources that are available. So continue to watch. I'm looking forward to the journey. Uh, six weeks, we should have some lettuce to harvest. And we're growing. Super excited. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you're doing with your grow or what you're thinking. Watch the rest of the videos and we'll catch you next time.